Hi, I'm Dave, and uh, we're traveling the globe today uh, for the Cider Baby Show, and this is Basante. Hello. Hello, hey. Dave. How are you? Oh, I'm pretty good. Where are you guys from? We are from Mexico, from Chiapas. It's in the deep south in Mexico. Deep south in Mexico. Yeah. Wow. Uh, tell me about Basante, then. Well, yeah, Bisonte, it's a duo. It's only Paulina and I. Uh, we started playing in 2018, if I if I recall correctly. And uh, yeah, we are a Stoner Doom, a Stoner Sludge uh, duo. And uh, yeah, we're we're trying to to get around the world, you know. Yeah, well, that, that's the purpose of this. Uh, just trying to uh, broaden horizons. I mean, a lot of people in the UK probably may not have heard of you. So um, where did you started? not very long ago your stoner sludge what what sort of inspirations did you have what uh what inspired you to mm -hmm. uh make basante well uh mainly sleep right yes we started before as a dragon out like one no. of the sleep yeah so it was our first name so definitely sleep and those bands okay. neurosis um uh weed eater like yeah. who else? Uh, Cathedral for me, Electric Wizard, of yeah. course. Yeah. Wizard, <laughs> yeah. So it was it was cool to to find someone mm -hmm. that likes that kind of music because here is very difficult. Yeah, so it's... once we found each other, so we were mm -hmm. like, we need to make a band with this type of music. Mm -hmm. Is it is it uh, difficult in Mexico to? get bands together is it you know just explain your scene around where you live now well uh the exact location we are in uh, there is not much a scene per se you know it's it's a lot of bands doing their own stuff um in mexico as as a whole it's a little bit easier but you know uh, economy here it uh, does not allow you uh, very often to move around to to other states or or other mm. other towns to well put together a band you know yeah. so yeah in that manner yeah it's 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 really difficult and the 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 place we live in in Chiapas it's called um there's not much appreciation or there's not really a, a an acknowledge of of the genre you know of stoner doom right so um yeah it's it's in in that part it's it's really difficult um and we we met when we were about 15 as uh, 14 15 years old and ever since then we've been uh, sharing music together you know like you should check this band out and so in that in that um manner we grew together to the genre mm -hmm. so yeah that's that's how we yeah. um get to got get to each get other together. yeah get together but uh yeah, yeah. i mean I, I i know at least five more people in the whole state that like yeah. the the <laughs> genre five. right and it's a big state <laughs> Uh. <laughs> okay. yeah, it's really sad, but yeah. <laughs> so, um, you, have you got music out? Yeah, uh, uh, we are on Spotify. Spotify. Mm -hmm. We are on Bandcamp as well, in the YouTube. YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what have you got out? What have you put out? We have an EP. Uh, how many mm -hmm. songs? Six, Six songs. Six and and yeah, we got it out in 2019 or 2020. 20, 21. Oh. No, 21. 21. You know, one year. Wow. No. Pandemics. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Pandemics. I hear this all the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it was last year. Oh. It was last year. Yeah. It's a, it's a it year. It feels old. like a long time. Yeah. So it was last year on April 28th. <laughs> April now 20, I remember yeah. the exact date. <laughs> April 28th of 2021 yeah yeah we 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 got that released and uh you know there was not much uh, uh shows or or anything to do really so yeah it, it time goes by really quickly when you're in a pandemic <laughs> yeah <laughs> um so is it self-produced have you done all the work yourself or the musicianship uh, or the recording or the mm -hmm. you know, explain explain how you got the ep together yeah, well, uh, we put together a, a home studio here in in our hometown, like what uh, in two thousand eighteen. Yeah. And uh, 
Yeah, we we definitely did everything, you know, sing, uh, from songwriting to uh, lyrics, everything, and the recording as well, the mixing, the the uh, fake mastering. You know, that's not a proper mastering <laughs> work, but uh, uh, we, we tried. tried. Yeah. We tried. <laughs> you know, even, that, even the artwork, Mario mm -hmm. did the artwork of the album, and the only thing that we did, like, not us, mm -hmm. like, we paid for that, it was the photos. Yeah, and for the shoot. like the production of the CD. You yeah, know, like... yeah. It was almost completely DIY, but you know, I don't know how to burn CDs. These millennials, right? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I grew up in an age where I was um, burning uh, albums onto cassettes as well. So that's yeah. going right back. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know how to do that. <laughs> oh, kids these days, right? Kids oh, these kids these days. days. <laughs> 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 they can't uh, record uh, um, EQ and master and mix a whole record, but they do not know how to burn a CD. Come yeah. on. Uh, this, uh, <laughs> basics, man. Basics. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm ashamed. I, I'm not going out. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay um so your music's out there on spotify and bandcamp mm -hmm. uh how do you find it is it, is it basante uh, at bandcamp or so uh, yeah it's basante mx that that's that's been a, re a little bit of a situation nowadays because you know there's a plethora of bisontes in the in the music uh, uh zine you know there's a a lot of bands called Bisonte, right? right? So there's there's one that plays like uh, Mexican regional music, like uh, rancheras. There's another one that plays like pop. There's another one that plays like uh, uh, more electro. Uh, there's there's a Bisonte that plays stoner as well. So we've been trying to 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 yeah. So you know, yeah, mm -hmm. you can find us Bisonte and then the space MX like Mexico, mm -hmm. right? And the EP is called The Beholder, mm -hmm. and that's how you can find it. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, so is gigging a thing with you? I mean, if there's only other five other people who are like Stoner in the state, I mean, are are you gigging now? Are you playing or? Yeah, Ooh, yeah. yeah, yeah. We we got very uh, into it. We mm -hmm. tried to find as many dates as possible and made. Yeah, you used to get um, a recovery from the the depression from the pandemic. Yeah, because we were like, we need to play this music. We just mm -hmm. got out the EP. We need to to go out and play, but it was impossible. Mm -hmm. So now, once we got the green light, for even shows live shows, show, mm -hmm. yeah. So we we try to go out of the state as well. So we've been to Veracruz, uh, to Merida, so it's other um, states. states, like very close from w where we are. Yeah. But at the end of the, um, the year, we're going to go more like to the north of Mexico. Yeah, we have a, a, little, uh, a one month tour uh, set up. Yeah. It's, it's, it's going to be great. Yeah. But yeah, yeah we, we're trying to gig as much as we can. And um, if they, you know, if you cannot go to the mountain to the mountain bring the mountain to you right yeah. so yeah. we are trying to make uh, gigs as well yeah. so every every chance we we have we try and make uh, uh try to bring bands from all over mexico to to our uh yeah our okay. town mm -hmm. and um yeah we're, we're, we're trying to gig like crazy you know that's yeah. what makes us happy that's yeah. why we do music just mm -hmm. to play to be honest <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, are there a lot of bands? Yeah, you know, not specifically Stone or Doom. Uh, are there a lot of metal bands out there? Should we just broaden the horizon? Are there a lot of metal bands around that you know yeah. are, are gigging in Mexico? What are bands that we haven't heard of in this country? So, Oof, well, Stone or Doom. There's a lot of bands that are doing yes. a lot of things. Uh, there, there's one Electric Coat, uh, Three Demons. It's yeah um well, really really good bands it's another one it's cactus rojo it's uh red uh yeah. there's they are stoner mm -hmm. uh, but yeah there's plenty of and bands. yeah and metal as well you know there's a lot of death metal a lot of yeah. thrash metal a lot of uh what else black metal black metal that's there's, here in our in our uh state there is a kind of like very strong mm -hmm. scene of black metal yeah 
and they kick ass. They kick ass, yeah. Nice. They, they know their shit. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. But but yes, there's you know pandemics, right? Everyone is trying to to go out in the world and and, and do their stuff. So yeah, there's a lot of bands uh, uh, mm. doing Check all the work. Okay. Um, so moving on from that, uh, what are your plans going forward? We got gigs. You got the EP out. Are you still writing? Are you still writing more music? Yeah, yeah. yeah we have an EP coming. We are trying to release that next year. Yes. And um, we we have the songs. And... Yeah, we ha- we have the songs. I think we we want to just another EP, not an album. But I mean, I don't know. Maybe we can complete the songs for an album but yes this year we're going to start like demos and Mm -hmm. just ideas tracking yeah just get the ideas together and hopefully next year a new ep and Mm -hmm. more shows Mm -hmm. and hopefully we can just travel like out of this the country out of the country we we have some connections in canada for for instance we we are we've been trying to get there since the freaking uh, COVID yeah (laughs) but uh yeah times are harsh you know there's there's the economy is it's Mm. crazy bad right now in 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 Mexico so yeah we're we're trying to um to find a way to get there you know so we are going to you we we don't know when but we are (laughs) (laughs) well I can tell you got the determination there so uh you you'll do it I think I, I I have faith in that um yeah. <laughs> okay so going back to the music you have out if you have one song that says this is us this is Pisante, as we are uh what song would it be stampede from us a stampede that's yeah. like our song that defines us the mm-hmm. most and i think was the song that we wrote very natural yeah and it sounds stampede well no there is another song that sounds Strange. like yeah, like sleep, like yeah. the band sleep, like dragon out. So those two songs, I think, and we can define that sleep mm-hmm. and that song are like together. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I yeah. think that's be something, you know. Yeah, yeah. We 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 took uh, our roots in Stone or Doom and then all of the, those bands, right? But I think yeah, those two. Uh, it's called Strain and Stampede. And those yeah. two are, yeah, it's in a nutshell, those were at uh, the first kind of the first songs we did. Yeah. And uh, they came out just naturally, just like a, a fucking uh, a scream of, <laughs> I need to do this right now. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, where, where are you getting your inspiration for your writing from as well? Well, that's, that's a difficult one. Inspiration. Yeah. Mostly uh, that band, uh, Sleep. Um, we hear but but the more music we do the more we get reference in ourselves i i think you know we we try to look at what we have done and 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 Mm. try to work around that uh but i can say that well reference maybe pantera it's it's one big reference for me in the guitar playing not not in the soloing but in the riffing you know yeah because it's only the the two of us uh yeah i I cannot and like more on the songwriting part mario is the one that writes all the songs okay so he when i talk to him and he tries to explain what Mm -hmm. what's the meaning because for me it's important to know the meaning so i can yeah i know how to play and what to do mm-hmm. he's very like spiritual he tries to connect the dots with the meaning of what does the um animal bison means to the native americans so he mm-hmm. tries to to dig into that and get all those dots connected and they get a really cool meaning mm-hmm. we have one song that is called hawk and it's like a relation between a mother, uh, it's in what's like, I don't remember. It, it's a song about vengeance. It's a, a freaking snake comes and eats the babies of a hawk, a, a mother hawk. Yeah. And it's like this um, story of, of violence and vengeance and, and trying to seek for uh, justice. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I always struggle with writing lyrics. Mm. 
So I, I always try to come out of the box, you know, uh, uh, out of uh, the, the typical rage, the typical uh, government uh, or, or, um, or love or hate. It's, I, I try to do something more like um, ethereal or, or, mm -hmm. or magical. I don't know. It's, 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 it's really difficult. I still haven't find, found my, uh, uh, my inspirations or, or my workflow in, in lyric writing, but getting there. Yeah, <laughs> it's grown organically. So I suppose the more yeah. the yeah. more you write, the more yeah easily it will come together. And yeah, okay. Um, so apart from world domination on the uh, music front, yeah, what what else are you guys up to? I mean, you know, what's your normal day to day lives? Well, we we both were working at a, a call center, you know, as in, as interpreters. Uh, yeah. I, I got freaking fired and now I'm having an existential crisis. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, man, I, 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 I'll, I'll mop your floors for you, man. I, <laughs> I don't care. I need money. <laughs> so, but uh, we have the recording studio and, and we are trying to, um, to uh, activate that as well. You know, um, I, I do a little bit of graphic design too. I'm trying to be a jack of all trades, you know, a, mm. a little bit of, uh entrepreneur or, or or something and well oh it's uh yes i'm a i'm mm -hmm. an interpreter right uh, that's my main job i study music so i try to get uh on the drums as much as possible to to not lose that uh but yeah i get the money from the interpretation yeah. and yeah i like to swim a lot when i feel stress i swim and i like to hear a lot of music like look for inspiration like to get on spotify mm -hmm. and just randomly click on oh this mm -hmm. looks interesting let's see and then i find my next uh favorite band for the next month and yeah i like to to do that a lot like to do uh a lot of research on mental health as well mm -hmm. um yeah and she's a great photographer and great, I, great, I like great photography. photography. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I always sure. forget to say that yeah, I like she, photography. She has a a golden eye, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very modest as well. Then, yeah, <laughs> I forget to say that. With, but yeah, I love photography. It's like I think it's my second passion after music. So yeah, mm, really. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. So just to wrap it up a little bit, I suppose who who inspired you to pick up the drums and who inspired you to pick up the guitar. Mm -hmm. For me, it was very funny. It was just a, a friend in sixth grade. She went to the class with the drumsticks and I was like, where are those? <laughs> I want to do that. And then I asked her and next day I asked my mom to take me to music classes. Mm. I was 12 years old and I fell in love with, uh, with the drums. And I had a background uh, really quick with my dad. He liked Santana and um, Queen. So I always been into that um, rock uh, yeah. music. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was a, a random friend that now she's not my friend anymore. But I'm really appreciate that she brought those drumsticks to the class <laughs> that day. Yeah, so yeah, it was it was her. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. get you on a ride that that lady yeah um, and i well i started playing the guitar because of metallica you know yeah uh, yeah in, in in high school i was like um obsessed with with those guys my my aunts um uh, watched a lot of mtv yeah and uh, I, I grew with rock and roll and, and metal in general, but Metallica was the, the, the first, the main inspiration, right? But, but I started playing bass. Okay. I, I, yeah, more than the guitar, I love the, the bass and, you know, Cliff Burton, the, the first Metallica albums. That was like, oh, I love this. And the, you know, um, yeah. very, very um, all over the place, bass lines. So... But then my mother was like, "Why are you playing bass? Nobody listens to the bass when they when they hear music." Yeah, yeah, yeah. bass player, come on. So she bought me a guitar, and um, and well, I I started playing the guitar. Funny thing now is that given that we are only two of us, I need to play the the bass lines on the guitar as well. So I am a bass bass player with uh, guitar, and uh, yeah. 
I'm a bass player playing the guitar, I think. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> bass player with two extra strings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, there was one time that the first string broke. Right. It was like, no problem. I mean, I played like that for a year, maybe. <laughs> yeah, with only five strings. Uh, strings. So, yeah. <laughs> bass player. <yeah. laughs> <laughs> okay guys thank you for your time um it's been an absolute pleasure and i wish you all the best uh with your old ep and your forthcoming one as well thank you for something yeah thank, thank you thank very you. much dave yeah take care yeah goodbye paul good night mm -hmm.